It is our hit and run mentality that has grounded us. I think I've tried. Who told you? No. You can't write an exam and mark it. <laughs> you are busy marking your exam and giving yourself pass mark. That's your cup of tea. You wrote the exam, you now wrote your result. You send it to yourself. You know, there are so many devices now. Your result, A++. And then the finish marking is A, F, F, F. <laughs> F to the third power. <laughs> Stop marking your scripts. It's illegal. <laughs> it's abuse. Eh? That's abuse. Yes, sir. Stop marking your scripts. I've done all I should do. All right. So God is now lying. No, no, no. What lack I yet? Only me pass it. Move pass. What lack I yet? Just sit down. Get books on this subject. Don't read on your bed. Where you put on your sometimes you put a label. Sit down on the desk. Carry your note to a student. Can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> That's the way to go. Some young person from Uniben came to me that was leaving the campus. God has called her to ministry. I said, no problem. Get this book, Understanding Vision. He got to page 20. He says, I understand it now. <laughs> page 20 of that book. He has seen one vision, would like a destiny for forever. Read this thing. I said, I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> he came and said, I've seen it. Page 20, I'm going back to school. I told them to bring the books on divine direction because you have never read it. <laughs> you are bitter about the bush for nothing. God, you miss it, you miss it. You don't use age to pass exam. Your son can beat you. The same exam. <laughs> you read a counting exam. Your son has passed. There's your only main three. <laughs> You go again the following year. Your second child has passed. They say, Papa, what is wrong with you? <laughs> they don't use age to pass exams. They don't use experience to pass exams. I've been going about in planes for years. Commercial, uh, chartered, uh, private. I can't turn anything in the plane. The young people are playing it have been in ministry where they were born. But they know it. I said they know it. Yes. If they say they're not flying, I say, what do you mean? You won't go anywhere. <laughs> you go on the ground here. Yeah. Because they know it. So most of the things, particularly in Africa, we over glorify age. You see, I've been a Christian for the past how many years old? <laughs> I say you don't know this in your way, Christian. It's not you. I know you're a Christian. I say you know, say my people are destroyed. That is Christian. <laughs> For lack of knowledge. I will stop anytime and then we go home. Praise God. You read the remaining in books. Kenneth Higgins has many books on divine direction. I have a few that may be a blessing to you. Over to you. The content of this manual has unlimited capacity to create what it says. Well received and believes and believed. It has capacity to create. It's not looking for the solution. He creates it. When you receive <laughs> the instructions of this manual, 
and believe it. He creates what he says, and the Lord said, and the Lord saw, and the Lord said, and the Lord saw, and the Lord said, and the Lord saw, and the Lord saw everything that he said. And we hold it very good. So what he says when received and believes, he creates. What he says when received and believed, he creates it. So it's not just mere instruction. It's the creative capacity that's back, back of it. The world is the most reliable manual for commanding exploits. Arise, shine, for your light is come. A little one among you shall become a thousand. A small one is a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Isaiah 60, 1 to 22. And the entrance of this world is what gives light. So when you operate by the light of scriptures, you command exploits without sweat. Daniel 11, 32, those who do wickedly against the covenant, it will corrupt them with flatteries. They end up as mockeries. But those who do know the covenants of their God and keep their part of it, they shall be strong and they shall do what? We have here in this church today an army of men and women of exploits. And you are one of them. Yeah. All you do is recognize the world as a covenant pact. This is God's covenant pact with his people. My people come up, I have this for you if you will do this. <laughs> I have. That's the covenant, all this story of Greek and Hebrew is not it. The covenant is say, hey, I have this deal for you if you will do this. Amen. I'm going to empower you for work if you will keep the terms of the covenant of abundance. I fully paid for your health and vitality if you will understand where and what to do to secure it. Come on now. I have a success deal for you if you will take note of what it takes to succeed. That's the covenant. It's not that, uh, you know, covenant in Hebrew, in Greek. You don't need to know it in Greek. <laughs> See covenant as a deal enacted by God based on well-defined terms and see with an oath. What is it? That's the covenant in the Greek, in the Hebrew, in Germany. <laughs> so you can't be doing what you like and expect him to do something. He won't do something. You do what he says. Thanks for watching this video. I believe you were richly blessed by this video. Stay tuned for the next news. If you are yet subscribed to this channel, please don't forget to do so. Till next time, you come away. Stay blessed. Shalom.